What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this 3D animated lines effect inside of After Effects. Now before I get started with the tutorial you will need this plugin called Saber but it's actually a free plugin and I'll have the link down in the description below where you can go ahead and download it for Windows or Mac and there should be plenty of tutorials on how to download this plugin on YouTube already so I'm not going to go through the process of downloading it and installing it into After Effects but once you have Saber downloaded it should be in your effects and presets here and we're going to go ahead and use that effect later but first let's go ahead and go up to the rotor brush tool and once that's selected let's go ahead and select our layer and it'll open up in a new composition now let's go ahead and rotoscope out our car so once your first frame is outlined you can just go ahead and go frame by frame and you want to make sure that this outline follows your subject or your car the whole entire time. So once you've gone through every single frame and it looks good, we can go ahead and freeze our rotor brush. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and close our layer. And now we're back in our main composition. Let's now go ahead and duplicate our layer. So hitting Control D, we'll duplicate that. And on the bottom one, let's go ahead and delete the rotor brush. Now let's go ahead and go up to layer, new, and create a solid. And we can keep the color black. It doesn't really matter what color it is actually, but we just want to make the width and the height just Kind of scaled up a whole lot um so i'm just going to do 3000 pixels by 3000 and i'm just doing that so we don't run into any issues with the saber plugin later on and i'm going to name this to saber and we can go ahead and hit ok now i'm actually going to hide this layer for right now so having the pen tool selected we can go ahead and start creating our line for this animation so i'm going to have the first point start around here and then the second one i'm going to have right here and selecting the point while you like click it. So if I just click it, it'll just create a linear line. But if I click the point and then also drag to the left or the right, you can kind of see it just makes this curved line. So this is gonna help with the actual line kind of forming around the car here or for whatever kind of line style you're going for. But you can move this around. You can move these different points to get the curve you want. Then let's just go ahead and create one more point. And then we can also connect these points so that they are now connected. So we have in total three different points here. So now all the lines are linked together. Also, if you want to add some curve to your first point, you can hold down Alt on your keyboard and then drag out. And that will just add those lines to that one point that was linear. So now that we have our line, we can go ahead and apply our saber to that layer. Now let's go ahead and turn back on our solid so we can actually see the saber effect. Let's go into customize core and turn this to layer mask and then go into render settings and bring this to transparent. Let's then go up to preset and select neon. And then if you want, you can change this color to whatever you want. I'm going to go for kind of a light blue to match the car. Now let's go ahead and select our very bottom layer, which is the original car layer. And let's go into the tracker and select track camera. So once your 3D camera tracker is done, you should have all of these points on your screen here that we can go ahead and use. And you wanna select points that are kind of on the car or near it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all these points and just right click this and then create null and camera. And I'm gonna to go to the parent tool and parent this to the null object and then make that saber or the solid layer 3D. So now it's tracked to that point right there. Let's go ahead and scale this up and then you can kind of move this around to your frame. If you want, you can even rotate this around. So hitting R on that saber will open up the orientation and we can pretty much move this to however we want it to look. Let's now go ahead and create the animation for this line right here. So back in the saber effect, let's go into the customized core. And for the start size, let's bring this to 0%. And depending on how you want this kind of animation to look, we can go ahead and mess with the and offset. So I'm gonna bring this down to 50%. And as you can see, that just makes the whole entire line a lot shorter. I think that looks pretty good. So now let's go to the mask evolution and set a keyframe on the first frame here and then go to the very end of our timeline or I guess your clip and then just bring this evolution up quite a bit and you can kind of see the line is moving around your mask so then you can play it back so you can see what you kind of have so as you can see it doesn't look that good right now because it's on top of the car so let's go ahead and bring that saber layer underneath our car layer that has the rotor brush on it so as you can see that already looks a lot better but i have some issues here where in the front i don't really want it to go underneath the car again i'm fine with it going underneath back here but in the front it just kind of ruins the effect so kind of get around with that. What we can do is pre-compose our layer with the rotor brush. So right clicking the layer and hitting pre-compose. Now we can go into the pen tool to create a mask. And we're just gonna kind of outline right here. 
It's a very rough mask around the part of the car that we actually want to keep inside the shot. And then let's select that layer and hit M. But instead of using add for the mask, let's go ahead and hit subtract. So if I toggle this layer really quick, you can see it's just removing that part of the car here. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. And there we go. Now that just looks a lot more, I guess, kind of realistic. We can even go back into the mask and move this around. It doesn't have to be permanent. So if you don't like how it's looking, you can always go back into the mask, move these points around and kind of go for whatever style you're looking for. So basically from here, the effect is pretty much done. You can go ahead and just leave it how it is. But if you want to add some more customization, you can always go back into the Saber. And in the presets here, there's about like 20 different presets you can choose from, maybe even more. I'm not totally sure, but we can go ahead and select the portal here. And as you can see, this just adds a bit of like energy and almost like a portal effect, like the name of it. So it's pretty cool. You can even add some fire. But me personally, I kind of like how this neon effect looks. It's just super simple and clean. If you wanted to, you can even duplicate this line. So hitting Control D on that saber and then hitting S will bring up the scale. So we're gonna scale this up and kind of move it around. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. And I'm gonna scale this one actually down. So now we have three different lines here and I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the color of one of these lines. So for this middle one here, I'm gonna change this to just a white. So now when you play that back, you should have all of your lines being animated across that path. And I think that honestly looks pretty cool. But as you can see right here, the lines kind of mess up with our mask that we created earlier. So you can just go back and readjust that to fit around the car or just that portion of the car that you want not to be actually rotoscoped out. There we go. Now that should kind of fix that issue there. And yeah, that just looks super clean. Once again, like I said earlier, this is fully customizable. So you can go in here and just kind of change whatever you want. We can change the core size of the Saber. So changing that core size just makes that line a lot thicker and it kind of gives off a different effect. So I definitely would recommend messing with the different effects that you have inside of the Saber plugin. And if you guys ran into any issues while trying to create this effect, then make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll try to get to them or maybe other people in the community can try to help you out. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys ran into any issues while trying to create this effect, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys seeing if there's any solutions or maybe other people may know and respond back to you. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.